So, hey there, it's me. Tomorrow is the big day, and this has been a very, very, very weird day for me. I thought I was dealing with all of this really well, with this whole, you know, losing my teeth, getting new fake teeth, etc., etc., but this has been, um... It's been a day. I haven't, like, freaked out. I haven't had any massive, like, anxiety attacks or anything. Although I've never had an anxiety attack, so I don't think I would know what they felt, felt like. It's been a really weird day. I really had all of these plans. I was going to get my steps in, which I still haven't done. I've only gotten about halfway through my 10,000 steps because... I've mostly been sitting in front of the computer, staring blankly at the screen, frozen like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> it's it's a very weird sensation for me. I, I just, I'm like, eh. and I would say completely frozen, except no, because I have one leg that's just bouncing all day long. So, hey, if that counts for steps, then I've taken 10 million today. Um... My head knows that this is going to be fine. Like, my head knows everything's going to be fine in a month or two, maybe six. I'm going to be so happy that this is done. My mouth won't be in pain anymore. I'll be able to smile at you guys and not worry about, you know, not moving my upper lip when I talk. That'll be kind of nice. But my stress levels in my body are completely disagreeing with my head who is telling me to chill out because I'm fine. <laughs> it's um, definitely been a day and this day has sped. Oh my goodness. Now, thankfully, I did have some distraction today because I had planned with my neighbors and it was lovely to have a build your own calzone night as a farewell to Christine's natural janky teeth and you know as my last solid meal for however long until I can chew again when my face heals up so I was like what sounds like a really good meal that we can share and part of me was clamoring for steak or brisket or pulled pork but for whatever reason calzones won because it just sounded delicious and it's so much fun because you can customize them if you didn't ever see it um go under my playlist and i have like a little cooking playlist the recipes on there uh recipe it's it's so easy it's literally just frozen bread dough that i buy at the grocery store if you've never been in the freezer section and discovered that they actually have frozen loaves of bread and never bought them you should they're wonderful not only just as bread because i've baked them just as bread because sometimes you just want a loaf of bread and you don't want to spend all day cooking it even though i could i could I used to actually bake bread for a living, but, you know, I've gotten lazy. And having frozen dough is just so easy. But it's a loaf of bread dough. You cut it into thirds or quarters. Make it a little round ball. Squish it out. Roll it out into a pizza shape. You know, big round circle, as round as you can get it. Put all of the toppings that you like on a pizza, fold that dough over, seal the edges, and then brush it with garlic butter. Mm, delicious. Absolutely wonderful. 10 out of 10, I recommend that if you've never made kale, and then 375 for like 20 minutes in the oven. So easy. Um, totally worthwhile. And that distracted me a little bit because this afternoon I just prepped everything. I was like, okay, we need green peppers and onions and mushrooms. Not for me, of course. I find all of those disgusting. But for, you know, all the neighbors and some sausage. So I chopped all that up and, 
you know, got it all diced and put into its own little containers and made sure that the bread had proofed and was all ready to go. And I also made this week a all of the assembly parts for an ice cream cake, which I then assembled today. And that was, that was so good. So ice cream cake. Take, I think I actually have that on my recipe thing too, but real quick, what you do is you make whatever flavor cake you want. In my case, it's chocolate because the right answer is always chocolate. So you make your cake and you put it into whatever kind of pans that you want because you want it to be a layer cake. So I just did eight inch round pans. And so you make your, your cake and then you take it out of the pan so it can cool. And once it's cool, you wrap it in wax paper, shove it into a plastic bag and freeze it. Forget about it until you're ready for the next step. In the meantime, you also pull out ice cream, whatever kind you want, let it soften, and you can add mix-ins. In my case, I did a vanilla bean ice cream and I crushed up some store brand version of Oreo cookies and mixed it in when the ice cream was all, you know, not liquid, but squishy. And then you line your same eight inch pan, because you want it to be the same size, line it with plastic wrap, fill it with the ice cream, and pop it all back into the freezer. It's great. You can forget about it until the day that you want to have the cake. That day, you pull it out, you put your cake down on your cake plate, then you put your disc of ice cream on top of that, and then you put your disc of cake on top of that, and then you can frost it. Um, I find frosting to be a little bit too much with the ice cream and everything else. So I took uh, Cool Whip and did a whole layer of Cool Whip on the outside. And then just for the uh, piece de resistance, I took um, that chocolate shell topping. After I had put the cake and the Cool Whip back into the freezer to harden up a little bit, because you don't want it to be all mushy. But you take it back out, you squeeze your shell topping on, and then pop the whole thing back into the freezer until you're ready to set it out on the counter for about 10 minutes and then cut it and eat it. It was delicious. It really was. It was a fantastic meal. I love my neighbors. They are absolute gems. Um, Maybe, maybe tomorrow while I am being driven to my dental appointment, if I am not in utter deer in the headlights mode, maybe tomorrow I will let Mary, my wonderful neighbor who is taking me to my appointment, tell you a little bit about herself. That way I don't have to talk. She can just talk to you. And she is the coolest person I know. I think I've said it before. Mary is the person that I want to be when I grow up. I might be 50, 51, almost 52. I might be in my 50s, but Mary is still the person I want to be when I grow up. And during our dinner tonight, I was thinking about it. And honestly, I remember her father because I've been coming to this area my whole life. And so has she. And I remember her dad, and he was also a person that I wanted to be when I grow up. So Mary just comes from a really cool family. And I don't say that lightly. Like, I like a lot of people, but I don't admire, like, truly admire too many people. But I truly admire Mary. She has had the coolest life. She is the most accomplished person I know. She's out there. She puts me to shame. She makes me feel like the laziest slug on earth, but in a good way, in a way that inspires me to want to be like her. So hats off to my incredibly cool neighbor, Mary. And her husband, Bob, is also an amazing human being. So I don't know how I managed to have such good neighbors. And then a little bit further down, who joined us for dinner, is my other neighbor, who is the contractor who put in my insulation and my new windows. Another amazing, awesome person. I have, I have so lucked out. 
I, and I know that. And I know that if I need any help, you know, with my face things, not only can I count on my amazing neighbors, but my kid's pretty cool too. You know, he's going to be here. He's not coming with me tomorrow. He's going to be here and, you know, just taking care of the house and things. And then I know I can lean on him a lot when I get home. He's kind of like me. Um, he's not super demonstrative, not super talky to everybody, but when he does talk, it's worth listening to. So I really appreciate that. So, yeah. Am I scared? I'm terrified. <laughs> Which is the reason I'm really glad that we are going tomorrow and picking up whatever it is that was prescribed. It's probably, I was looking it up online, it's probably like Halcyon or something. I don't know. I, I will find out tomorrow. But I did see that that is a common dental sedative. And supposedly it just kind of makes you relaxed. In fact, you might fall asleep, which I'm kind of hoping I do. <laughs> I wouldn't mind sleeping through this. I've got my, my old cell phone has like 500 songs loaded onto the phone itself. And I checked, made sure that my headphones work with it. So I'm going to go in probably a little bit groggy and stupid. I'm going to plug my music in and I'm going to do my best to ignore the dentist and everything that is happening with my face. I'm going to close my eyes, breathe deeply, listen to good music, and hope that everything's okay. I think my hands are shaking. I'm, I'm really scared. I, I don't, not going to lie, I am really scared. But I also stopped this week. Uh, in town and stopped at my P.O. box and I got a letter. I'm covering up the return address because, you know, I don't want to dox anybody. And this isn't doxing, so this, this is just my P.O. box. But look at the stamp on this. Is that not the most cool stamp you have seen in your life? That is so pretty. That was the first thing I noticed about this. So we're going to open this up. This is from a subscriber, Ruth, who, awesome name, by the way. Uh, if you didn't, well, I don't think I ever said that was actually my mother's name. And, oh, it's a kitty and it says not feline good. I'm hoping, well, right now I'm not feline calm, that's for sure. Um... She says, I'm not sure when you're going to your dental surgery, but yeah, uh, they admire my dedication to keeping us engaged. I try. I always think I'm kind of boring. Um, and oh my goodness. Okay. Inside. Oh, she sent me some cash. That is very much well. Oh, that's cool. Hang on. It's a $2 bill. Well, it, it's a couple of them. I have not seen a $2 bill in about forever. Thank you. I, I don't know that I will ever be able to spend these because $2 bills are so cool. Oh my goodness. I really appreciate it. I do thank you. I would read everything out loud, but I don't want to, like, you know. Although it doesn't look like there's anything that would be private and personal to me. But this is from Ruth. So, peace and good karma from Ruth. Thank you so much, Ruth. And, yeah, you share my mother's name. So, Thank you so much. I am going to put that card right there. I love that too. I actually had a tortoiseshell kitty that, that looked a little bit like that when I was a kid. Her name was Chloe. I think her name was supposed to be Cleo, 
but I never did figure out how to spell Cleo, so she just became Chloe, and that looks a lot like her. Anyway, I'm going to go. I am going to try to be calm, then I'm going to try to go to sleep so that I can wake up in the morning. By the time you guys see this, I will either be in the middle of getting my teeth pulled or knocking on wood, maybe done with it already, depending on what time you see this. Um, it'll be published about an hour before I go in for my appointment, but I'm hoping it goes fast, although I do have a lot of teeth that need to be pulled. Anyway, I will keep you guys updated. Um, send me some good vibes, because I'm freaking out a little bit, and I'm sure I will be sore tomorrow. But I will try and have a video up Sunday even if it's just me talking like this with uh, cloths on my face, I will try and update you guys. And um, I really do appreciate you. I did mean to get two more chapters, a chapter of each book read today, and I just couldn't do it. So I think I have enough in the in the queue already uploaded. So you guys should be good, and we all just send, send me good thoughts that I am able to talk and articulate well so that I can get back to hour and a half long chapters. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being here. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate you, and... Uh, I'll let you know how it all works out.